Hello and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. This is a fairly simple part but there's quite a lot of geometry in it. I'm just running the program here just to show you how it's made up. And I'll pan it around just so you can have a good look at it. This is a, a part that I've designed to go to with the 3018 uh, modifications. Uh, this is going to hold one of the uh, limit switches, the Y limit switch. So it needs to be fairly stiff, but uh, not overly sized. So we start off by starting a new job. So you press the plus sign up in the top left hand, then come and to the save part and then label it whatever you know you choose to label it and then press save so now it's necessary to choose a a surface or an area it, I always start with the top looking down on the part which is what I've done there and as soon as you choose that face, you can then choose a tool to work with. Uh, just uh, drawing a, a rectangle here. I uh, pull it out. I have snap turned on. Uh, I normally have snap turned on. It makes life a lot easier. So now I'm just pulling it out to a, a rough size. Now I'm actually putting the size that I want in there, which is 62 millimeters long now to put a constraint in here and it, I do advise to put constraints in in other words an absolute value for every dimension that's what I'm doing right there to make it 30 millimeters and you notice that it is a square sorry a rectangle and it's uh, black black is good <laughs> if it was blue, that means it wasn't constrained. Although it does change blue now to a solid uh, when you want to uh, extrude it. Now that's what I'm going to do now. Now you can either put the number in where I was indicating there, or where it is showing blue. Uh, there's several ways of doing this actually, and I do show you both ways. So you put uh, the size that you you particularly want which is 22 millimeters then I roll it over and I have a look just to make sure well yeah it is it's correct and then press OK so then press on the face that you want to draw on next and I then pressed on the view cube to line it up nice and square so we're looking down on the top of the material now so I want to draw another rectangle. This rectangle doesn't need to be so precise. I'm just chopping out some of the waste material I don't want to make an L shape or be left with an L shape. I do actually put some um, constraint numbers in here but it's not, uh, shall we say, absolutely necessary and I, as a matter of course of what I do, I choose both parts because uh, in Fusion 360 it will show up as two parts. Now, if you notice, you can pull it through. You don't have to give it a dimension. And the color red means you, you are removing material. If you notice, the, uh, the, the ghost in was like a red color. So that was telling me I, I am actually removing t material. Just having a little pan around now, and I want to now um, take an area out of the end. In other words, remove some material out there, really just to save on um, plastic, actually, because this is going to be 3D printed. Uh, so I'm just this dimension as well it doesn't really matter. Uh, like I'm just shelling out. Um, a little bit there just to uh, save time and save 
um, a little bit of material so I'm just sort of trying to get it somewhere near where I would like it and in the end I actually do have put one constraint there <laughs> because sometimes you know you you just have to I suppose <laughs> but um, Fusion 360 is very forgiving you know you you can uh, if you make a mistake you can sort of go back and do it again and you know it's a, it sort of plays along with you and uh, so although I'm saying can, I, I want to extrude this of course I'm going to remove it and you'll see it go red again and remember I got snap turned on so I don't have to put a dimension in here it'll snap to that line and I'm just indicating there that it has actually gone to the dimension that I want and then just press OK and it removes the material so I've now shelled that out uh, you can actually maybe able to pick up in the background the 3D printer actually printing this part so now I'm going to drill a hole and it's automatically picked up the center of the material and I wanted to go 20 millimeter in and I put a dimension here of 5.2 millimeters because it's a 5 millimeter bolt that's going in there I just wanted a little bit of clearance as well so you just in indicate that you that's the part you you want to extrude and again you can roll it over and of course that little window was in the way so I had to move it very slightly out of the way so I could catch out of the arrow and pull it through and notice again red tinge or ghosting color and that means you're removing material there is another operation too where you can't actually drill a hole but uh, I find this this easy now what I want to do now strengthen up this area because I don't want it flexing so I can put a fillet in here so choose the two there that I want to put a nice 10 millimeter fillet in and then I, I indicate I want 10 millimeters and it's as easy as that put the fillet in now you, I, I find it easy too to get out of that then re-choose it again because I want to a different dimension in a different part which is a three millimeter I believe here yes three millimeter just strengthens up that area a great deal and of course then just so I don't snag my clothes or my, my skin on any sharp corners um, I just thought I well I, I do as, as a matter of course just um, put a couple of fillets on sharp edges there And I think it's three millimeters and virtually that's the part done so we'll, uh, I always rotate it around and have a look at it just to make sure that you know it looks okay and uh, it is actually what I want and uh, in this case it is now we're going to save this as a SDL file so to save it you export it and I export it to my desktop and uh, you know you name the part whatever you want to name it I mean you you know you're the only person who really has to recognize what it is and then you choose the type of file to save it in and in this case as I say it is a STL file so you just go into the list in scroll through and it's the very last one and it actually indicates to you where do you want it well on the desktop but it, of course it goes via the cloud so it can take some time and I think it took about three to four minutes to I, I don't know how it does it I think it loads it up to the um, to the cloud and then back into your computer so um, that's about it so what I'm going to do now is I'll um, put some of the th 3d printing 
on to the uh, tail end of this video and uh, just so you can see the pad as it's uh, made and uh, thank you for joining me and uh, please call in again and uh, see one of my other videos and uh, please like subscribe and uh, bye for now